Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Casper's Light. How the devil are you? Huh? How the devil are you? Today we have got Nuke's Top 5. absolutely lootly mate. Nuke's Top 5. Did you see it? And this one is called Top 5 Scary Ghost Videos to Creep You Out. Okay? Ooh, it feels like it's been ages since I've done a Nuke's Top 5. It's been a week. Anyway, so it's not been long at all. Um, so without further ado, Dar Diddly Day. Oh, let's get ready to... Let's do this. Shh. Go on, Nuke. Five scary things caught on camera. Opening a doorway. Tomo and Hiro from the YouTube channel Omagatoki Film claim that a real estate agent reached out to them concerning a house that he found extremely difficult to sell. The agent says that the house once belonged to a family of three who mysteriously went missing in 2013, Ooh. leaving behind all really? of their personal belongings in the house. The current owner is desperate to sell. He believes that there's a dark presence inside the home and wants nothing to do with it. He absolutely refuses to go inside the home what? or even get close to it. And all of these strange stories about the haunted house have kept buyers away as well. Mate, that's the story of the grudge, right? Tomo and Hiro say that the real estate agent and the owner reached out to them to find an explanation for the creepy alleged haunting inside the family home. When the two go to investigate, the current owner warns them to keep the doors closed at all times. What? But... Mate, you wouldn't bloody go in there, would you? He doesn't explain why. Oh, mate, when you've got rules like that before going into a bloody haunted house, mate, <sighs> I would think twice. So whenever they go into a room, they've got to close the door behind them. Heeding the creepy warning, Tomo and Hiro respect the owner's request and close each door behind them whenever they step inside a new room. The two investigators immediately get the sense that something about the house is just a bit off. Yeah, you think? They're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna test it, aren't they? They're gonna test it. They're gonna leave a bloody door open. Don't leave the door open! It's gonna be the fucking grudge, mate. I'm telling you, it's gonna be the grudge. Just get over and done with, man. Strangely enough, Tomo and Hiro discover that many of the closet and cabinet doors are half open, contradicting the strange warning that they got to leave all the doors closed at all times. They don't think much of it and just continue their investigation. But did you see it? No, I didn't fucking see it, Nick. Tomo and Hiro are completely unaware of what they just captured on camera. But watch again. Oh, 
What was that, feet? Someone or something seems to be standing right behind the rack of clothes. Is it? As two bare feet can be seen oh, shit. underneath. But the investigators just don't notice. Soon the two explorers begin to hear a strange ringing sound that they believe to be coming from the home's quote, altar room. Oh, a room right. that is dedicated to Buddhist prayer and sometimes houses altars meant to honor the dead. They go to investigate and things take a terrifying turn. Here we go, here we go. I can't hear a bell. Just Oh, mate, 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 mate. Mate, I'm so on edge right now. I'm so on edge. Are you fucking done it now, aren't you? You've done it now. You didn't close the bloody door, you dickhead! Yeah, I Oh god fucking hell right Jesus Christ that was his other hand. I thought it was another I thought it was a hand reaching out, mate. Oh my god. I ask again, did you see it? Right after Tomo and Hiro enter the altar room and Tomo is closing the door, a pair of feet can be- Oh, flipping hell, mate. Hang on a second. Look at the state of this. Look at the state of this. Look, 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 look. Right after Tomo and Hiro enter the altar room and Tomo is closing the door, a pair of feet can be seen once them. again, but this time much closer. What makes the footage even creepier is that only moments earlier, in the same spot, there was nothing there. Whatever is in the home with the two investigators seems to be following them. And then, when they turn their back, the sliding door seems to open on its own. Hiro decides to do a solo investigation in the altar room in the hopes of capturing any paranormal activity. Yeah, good idea, mate. He sets up a static camera and then just sits in the dark and waits minutes nothing has happened so hero gets a bit bored and decides to go check out another room and this is when things get truly bizarre I'm looking for feet. I'm looking for feet. Come on. Yeah, it's not focusing. Can't see shit. What's going on? So he heard the door slide from a distance. He's investigating. How creepy is this, mate? Can you get any more creepy? Oh, Christ. Please don't be the fucking grudge, mate! Please 
please don't be the grudge. Oh, that's the bell. That's the bell. What? It's our face! It's our face! What's our face? Oh, man, I've got a chicken. I've got a chicken. Fucking Rambo it! Look Carol out, man. hears Look out. a sliding door move on its own, and he discovers that the door to the altar room has once again mysteriously opened on its own. The investigator hears the bizarre ringing sound again, and when he turns around, he sees the creepy face of something staring face. back at Look him at through the sliding door. Hiro gathers his courage and approaches the door. And then he just disappears. It just bloody disappears, mate. Look at that face just looking at him like that. What? Hey? You in my bloody house, mate? Close the bloody doors. Look at look at the state of it, mate. Hang on. Through the sli look. sliding door. Hiro gathers his courage and approaches the door. He opens it and the face disappears into thin air. What's... There's no one there. Can you explain that? So did Hiro and Tomo capture paranormal evidence of a haunted home? Could it be the restless spirits of the family who mysteriously disappeared? Let me know oh, what you think. Mate. You can watch this entire video over on the YouTube channel, Omagatoki Film. Oh, I might have to look at those, it mate. It stares back. In a tiny town on the outskirts of Wagoner County, Oklahoma, Reddit user LividExcuse1640 and a friend are cruising down a deserted road in the middle of the night, in the middle of nowhere. They approach a long abandoned house that Reddit user LividExcuse1640 says has always seemed a bit creepy and has been sitting deserted for many years for unknown reasons. On a whim, he takes out a battery-operated spotlight and decides to shine it right into the windows of the abandoned house. The guys spot something downright chilling. Oh, here we go, mate. If this thing's got, like, black eyes or... Do you know what I mean? Just sort of, like... Do you know what I mean? You know? Think of your worst nightmare. Some, like, weird white face, black jet black eyes, like, you know, with the mouth slightly wide open up. Like an alien. There it is. Wow. That just looks creepy as hell. Look! Holy Look! Boy. It's exactly go, 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 what go, go, I said! Go, 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 go. On camera, the friends catch a pale, creepy face that seems to appear from nowhere, peeking back at them from the darkness inside the house. Oh God! It's little baby grudge! It's gr baby grudge! Take down the house. Take just just destroy the house. Take it down. Flatten it, mate. House. Even when hit by the Look! Like, like I said, black eyes and open bloody mouth! What's all that about? White spotlight. The white face appears to have no recognizable features. Oh, fuck this When thing. they realize what they're looking at, the guys hit the gas and speed away from the abandoned house. Reddit user LividExcuse1640 says that he's visited the house before, and it appears that whoever used to live there left in a hurry. So what do you think this is? Is it something paranormal? Is it just a strange trick of the light? Or is there something in there? Look at you. Let me know down below. Look at you staring your ass off. Scary people, places, and things. Now this next video was sent in to me privately by a Nukes Top 5 viewer, but the source is unknown. All I know about the video is that a couple is out hiking through the Romanian woods when they spot something terrifying in the distance. One of the hikers pulls out a phone and starts to record. Still 
Hey? Was it a bunch of nappy bags or something? What? Hey! Yeah, that room. Oh, Mate, it's a skinny sumo wrestler. It's a skinny sumo wrestler. What a s look! Holy fuck! In the video, the two anonymous Romanian hikers wonder aloud whether, quote, they released it. I can only assume that they're referring to the strange pale figure in the video that looks like something right out of a nightmare. But oh I'm my honestly God. not sure just what this is. Could it be something paranormal? A creature? It's just a mental person in a bloody forest, a naked mental person who thinks that they're a bloody sumo wrestler. Maybe they are a sumo wrestler, but they've lost loads of weight. And they're just pissed off about losing all that weight. So they've gone into the forest and just reminiscing about the old days. I don't know. Or just a very bizarre looking person clad all in white. I leave it up to you to decide. One bizarre day in Voronezh, Russia, a grandfather and his grandchild are enjoying a day <laughs> out walk. What did I just see? What did we just see then? Walking in the fresh air. They decide to stroll down one particular city sidewalk, and it turns out to be one of the worst decisions of their lives. Oh, now, God. in accordance with YouTube guidelines, let me point out beforehand that absolutely no one was hurt in this video. But it was very close. Oh, God. Oh, what? What's gonna happen, mate? If there's anything happens, if this, mate, I'm telling you, I don't want anything to happen to this baby. Or the old man. Especially the baby. Especially the baby, Ben? Oh, whatever, mate. You know exactly what I mean. Let's go. What the fuck? Is that CGI? Is what? No, that's... The grandfather and his grandson escape an incredibly tragic fate by only a split second. Where the hell did that come from? a large chunk of concrete comes hurtling down from a building above. The two are unharmed and so is the woman passing by. But what? Oh my god. Oh my god. Like, you know, you can be safe as anything in life. Yeah, you can eat the good foods, right? Don't drink heavily, don't smoke, don't do drugs, right? Put your seatbelt on and all that sort of stuff. But if Mother Nature wants to get you gone, mate, motherfucker, you're gone, you're gone. What really makes this footage so terrifying is the fact that this was an intentional act. What? 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 Turns out, a group of inebriated Russian teenagers found their oh, way on Fucking hell, mate. Fucking hell. To the roof of a tall apartment building. They then deliberately threw- Oh my fucking god! Oh my god! Oh my fucking god! This shit winds me right up. Evil, evil little bastards. Little bastards. Look at, oh mate.
this large block of concrete off the roof with the intention to hurt someone terribly. Later in the footage, these same teens can be seen admiring the shattered pieces of concrete. Despite the video evidence, these What's teenagers the were never caught. This footage just goes to show that sometimes... Oh, you're laughing! You think it's fucking funny, do you? Do you think it's funny? People are much, much scarier than anything paranormal. I just don't know what to say to that. I, I just don't know what to say to that. Thank God. That no, no one was hurt, but especially that kid. That just breaks my heart. It breaks my heart. I know, listen, I'm not fucking stupid. I know that there's things around the world. These, this, th these things happen on a daily basis. Th these things happen on a daily basis. I'm not naive, okay? But actually seeing it, it just breaks my heart to know that fortunately, this person here, th th this couple here, and, and, the, and the girl, they got away with it. Like, they, 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 they escaped. But some people don't. Some babies don't. Some babies don't. It's not funny. It's not cool. You're just a fucking cockhead. You're a fucking dickhead. It, 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 it actually... I am, I am, I get so angry, I get emotional, right? I get emotional because of the anger that I have inside my body about shit like this. Poor little, like, okay, okay, I need a fucking break a minute. I need a break. Frank from the YouTube channel Franco TV goes on a very creepy exploration through an abandoned grand hotel in Montgomery, Alabama. Frank plans to perform a ghost hunt. But little does he know that the large building he is about to explore is now home to something much scarier than ghosts and apparitions. It turns out that a group of aggressive and dangerous homeless squatters have taken over the abandoned building. As Frank starts his ghost hunt, things soon take a very frightening turn. I bet they do, mate. I bet they bloody do. I gotta be careful. We just heard somebody. Holy crap. What, that, 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 that's just just a random person, mate. What? That's a homeless guy. Oh, it's a homeless guy. I'm gonna get out of here. For a second. Go, 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 go. Who is there? Wherever Frank goes, he keeps running into potentially dangerous squatters and just barely avoids confrontation. Even though he's somewhat aware of the danger, Frank still continues to explore but he has no idea just how close the angry squatters are watching him. Oh, mate, be careful, man. for other locations here that I haven't recorded just yet, but because there's so many people here, I have to be extremely careful and cautious at what I do, because the last thing I need to do is get robbed, mugged, or anything. But this place is huge. It's like four buildings in one. Oh! Fucking hell, man. Omar, did you just... Did you just subconsciously... No, what the fuck? You just walked past then, mate. Did you just... I'm already getting sounds of people. Frank is distracted by unexplained sounds and is talking to his camera when he passes one of the hotel room windows. To his viewer's horror, a hooded man can be seen yes! standing right at the window, just staring at Frank as he goes by. 
At the time, Frank is completely unaware of the danger he's in, so oh, he just mate. keeps on filming and exploring, with no idea of what he just encountered right next to him. Now obviously this is not one of Franco TV's usual paranormal videos. In fact, if anything, it might be even scarier. Watch this full crazy exploration over on the YouTube channel, Franco TV. Reaching out from beyond. Popular Chinese ghost hunter Xiao Long is exploring an allegedly haunted location in a small village on the outskirts of Xinyang, China. This time Xiao Long is investigating a sprawling farm where a large extended family used to live. These are, these are a little bit odd, Nuke. These are a little bit odd, mate, these last couple. A freaky deaky, but not freaky deaky, if you know what I mean. Locals claim that years ago they would often hear screaming and shouting coming from the farm. They say that the head of the family, an elderly man, had a very bad temper and was often cruel to his family. One by one, his children and grandchildren moved away from him to the big city. His family never returned. Individually, the old man passed away all alone inside his farmhouse. Xiaolong is recording a live stream as he explores the farm grounds all alone. I like these live streams, mate, because you know they're legit, sort of, most of the time. Alone. At first, he finds strange talismans on and above many of the farmhouse doors, suggesting that someone has been there to try to ward off evil spirits that might haunt the property. Absolutely, mate. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, you know it's gonna get freaky when this music starts, mate. Just to add to the freakiness, it's a couple of bloody mannequins. What? Yeah! A large wooden board suddenly drops from the ceiling and barely misses Xiao Long. Now, this could just be a very strange coincidence caused by a loose board could be. in a very decaying house. Could be. But what happens next is a lot harder to explain. They, when I've played these computer games in like, you know, Thailand and things like that, developers from Thailand, they always use these cotton threads. What's that all about? You know, they use these red cotton threads everywhere and stuff. What is that all about? Oh, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Two windows fly open and the exit door slams shut. Oh, A little hey. freaked out now, Xiaolong runs outside to calm himself down. Eventually, he gathers his courage and heads back inside. He soon finds a room cluttered with old furniture, personal belongings, and boards from the caved-in ceiling. What happens next is downright chilling. Oh, here we go, mate. <laughs> Oh god, oh god, we're gonna see something, we're gonna see something. Wow, 
What? Uh, mate, something's going on with this. Oh, ah! fuck! Oh, oh, oh. Look, mate, it's Billy Skeletor! Look at it! Oh, man, that is... That's legit. A terrifying pale face can be seen watching Xiaolong from the other side of a window. When he checks it out and opens the window, he only finds a small clay pot right what? where the face appeared. But this was absolutely not just a simple optical illusion. Yeah. You can see by it's comparing the pot. It's nothing like me. It's got bloody eyeballs and everything. And the face in the window. It's almost as if this strange face turned into a pot. Pothead. <laughs> now that might make no sense, but this will not be the last time we see a creepy unexplained clay pot. So stay tuned. Xiaolong explains that he now feels something very sinister in this place. A little later into the investigation, and he finds something very creepy. Again, we see a clay pot. Now, I reached out to Xiaolong to ask him about these strange pots, especially this one sitting on top of a covered cellar door. He explained to me that in China, occasionally clay pots like these are used to store the ashes of the deceased. The red cloth underneath the pot is placed there to ward off evil spirits. Oh! But that doesn't stop our boy Xiaolong. Ew. That explains the cotton then, right? Well, the F, mate. What the hell? I told you, ma, this is the F. What's on you, ma, yeah? What? Hey, don't, hey, 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 don't antagonize it, mate. What the F? What the fuck is that, man? That's what the F is, man. It's moving. It's bloody moving. That's moving. It's like the bloody alien egg, mate. Oh, shit. You did it now, man. You did it now. What the hell are you doing? What the hell? What oh, mate, if something just crawls along there, mate, like just crawls like a fucking little weirdo, it's gonna freak me out. This all right now. Huh? Huh? What? What is it? What? What? Town? Town, you mother! Town, you mother! What? Town, you mother! Town, you mother! Oh, I heard that. Get out of there, mate! Like, you know, five, five frames a second, this camera, mate. After taking a well-deserved break in his car, Xiaolong heads back in alone one final time intending to destroy what he now believes to be a cursed clay pot. Oh, mate. It did not go well. Yeah, I didn't think it would go well, to be honest with you. Would you really do that? Come on now. Come on. What are you doing? 
You are pissing this thing off left, right, centre, willy-nilly. What? Ah! What the ah! hell was that? Was that a little fucking hand coming up like that? Ah! That's a hand! It's a hand! A pair of hands seem to reach right up out of the ground, searching for something. What? The horrifying event is caught on live stream. Man, that's coming out of the middle of nowhere. It's not even coming out of the hole. By Xiaolong and his online viewers watch in terror. He finally makes a run for it and just gets out of there. That was live. So, is the abandoned creepy farm haunted by the malicious spirit of the old man who was left behind by his family? Let me know what you think. You can watch this and many more creepy videos of Xiaolong's investigations with English subtitles over on his YouTube channel, Outdoor Xiaolong. What the hell, man? Disappearing Act. Paranormal investigator Alberto from the YouTube channel Alberto Del Arco travels to a long abandoned warehouse Alberto. house in Mexico. Locals claim to have no explanation or idea of what this location was used for or why it's abandoned. Many suspect that the structure was used for horrific illegal activities such as hiding or disposing of the remains of the deceased. Some believe that this dark activity might have left the warehouse extremely haunted, and most people prefer to stay far away from the creepy site. Those who have dared to explore the creepy location claim to have witnessed shadows, heard ear-piercing screams, and some even say that they have fled from the sound of footsteps that seem to be following them, getting closer and closer. Together with his two cameramen, Alberto Del Arco goes to investigate the alleged taunting. It doesn't take long before the guys begin to hear strange sounds and witness some very frightening activity. Here we go, mate. Come on. Está muy muy raro. Ahí hay otro tambo. Hay mucha tierra. Entonces esto ha ayudado para que también muchas personas. Hijo de su madre. ¿Qué fue, güey? Vino de allá arriba, ¿no? Ahí hay varios. Ay, me dolió todo. Me asusté. Pudiera haber gente, eh. De pronto pudiera haber personas que se Yeah, meten. I mean, like places like this has probably got loads of squatters and whatnot. Al parecer ya se han robado partes de este sitio. Se ve algunas zonas quemadas. A heavy gas can slams to the ground as if thrown from somewhere nearby. But that's not the only creepy thing that happens in this clip. Did you see it? No. Right above Alberto's head, oh, a dark shit. shape can be seen quickly peeking out. But when they go to check inside the room, there's no one there. Alberto and his team are completely unaware of what they've just captured. H how did I miss that? They continued their investigation of this strange warehouse, but as they explore inside, the cameraman captures something absolutely shocking. Oh God. Esto me imagino que eran una especie de tinas o contenedores, ¿sabes? Y mira, ahí hay unos ductos. Pero, ¿qué tenían aquí? ¿De qué era esta fábrica? Lo curioso es que ya preguntamos con los vecinos y nadie sabe exactamente qué es lo que había en este lugar. La temperatura sigue bajando, 22.2 de 22.9. Sí, baja muy rápido, baja muy drástico. Atrás de ti. ¿Qué fue? ¿Qué? ¿Qué? A ver, puede haber gente, ¿eh? Atrás de ti. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, Christ, there's another face. ¿Qué fue? What the ver, hell? Puede haber gente, ¿eh? Hola. Left, ¿Lo tienes left, con tu cámara? look left, look left, left. ¿Lo, ¿Lo tendrás con tu cámara? Hola. Hard left. Pero, there. eso está muy alto, ¿no? Digo, como para brincarle. Lo veo algo alto. Por ahí hay escaleras, mira. Cuidado, Tony, ten cuidado, no te vas a caer. As the camera turns down a hallway, what looks like a pale, creepy figure can be seen quickly darting out of sight. 
When the team hurries over to investigate, they discover just how high the area is above the ground. For something to have been peeking around that corner, it would have had to be at least seven or eight feet tall. What? A little later into the investigation and the three friends witness something else that is truly bizarre. Oh, here we go, mate. When he says it's bizarre, mate, it's, it's bloody bizarre. No entiendo. A ver, hay alguien ahí parado, ¿no? Ay, 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 ¿Ves algo, Tony? ¿Se salió? Güey, yo vi a alguien parado, güey. Vi a alguien parado ahí. Es que... Sí. Hay algo cerca. Alberto y su equipo watches a alguien que parece que se va a ellos. At first, they believe this is simply a stranger who is also exploring... Sí, no responde a la pregunta. ...en la factory. But when they reached the area where they saw the dark figure of a man, again, there's just no one there. Cut to a bit later, and one of Alberto's cameramen claims that he sees something move in the brush. No entiendo, pero pareciera que hay algo aquí. Digo, tal vez es que no sabemos qué fue esto, pero pudiera haber algún tipo de qué, güey, qué, 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 qué. qué? ¿Qué pasó? ¿Dónde? ¿Aquí? Pues a ver, alumbra un poquito para allá. Where's that beat? Is that temperature? That's temperature, right? Oh, look, 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 look. Oh, mate, okay. ¿Viste algo? Cuidado, puede, puede haber muchos animales. Things just get more and more absurdly like, bizarre. Is that like a, 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 someone's taken down a, a towel, a cloth or something? Or is that his arm? I, I can't see. As a hand seems to reach out yeah. from the darkness and grab what appears to be either a cloth or an old paper. So, did the team capture evidence of paranormal activity at the mysterious... I think it's just a little weirdo walking around a bloody place like that, you know? Just wants to be, I don't know, hiding from the camera or something? It's warehouse. Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. you decide. You can watch this full video and many more creepy investigations over on the YouTube channel, Alberto Del Arco. Thanks for watching. Follow me on Twitter here, on Instagram there, and on TikTok right there. See you next TikTok. week. Thanks, Nuke. There you go, mate. That's Nuke's top five. Five scary ghost videos to creep you out. Freaky deaky. There were, like, listen, I'll be honest. That one, you know what I was on about, mate. That one just bummed me out for the rest of the video, in a way. I mean, I took a break. Um, but yeah, I may, you know, I hope I didn't offend any of you. Uh, but yeah, seeing stuff like that, when this, it, it, anyway, I don't want to go into it. It just fucking bummed me out. It just bummed me out. All right. But anyway, I hope you liked the video, mate. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a little like if you liked it. And if you're new to the channel, how about subscribing? Because you're a bloody legend. Take care. Bye-bye.